Many explosive pieces of history that would otherwise be wiped away are tucked deep in the bowels of America's greatest museums, and the people who run them take a duty in preserving the past. And that's why one Texas man made it his lifelong mission to collect toilet seats. Up until his death last year, Barney Smith rolled out more than 1,300. But before he closed the lid, he wanted to dump this load on someone else. So you are the heir to the thrones. <laughs> Very good, yeah. Jason Boso bought Barney's toilet seat museum and plopped it right here at the truck yard in the colony. A fitting tribute to the porcelain gods. It is pretty symbolic. This is Barney's collection and the most majestic heavenly thing. It is right above us. Barney passed through these gates on his way to the big throne in the sky. A couple weeks before he died, Barney was able to cut the ribbon. I looked around and a tear came to his eye and I just lost it. I started crying. I have a little bit of an emotion right now to see someone's life come to life like this. A plumber and an artist, Barney spent 80 years paying tribute to all sorts of history, places, and people. Now, what did Michael Jackson do? He was actually out of toilet paper and had to use one of his gloves. If the glove fits, you must put it on the pot, I guess. Barney fit a lot of other things on toilet seats, too. A piece of the Space Shuttle Challenger, a million dollars shredded into teeny tiny pieces. He even snagged a toilet seat from the palace of Saddam Hussein. He never got tired of it or he never got pooped. So he worked on this by day or by night? But very good, yes. Barney was practically constipated with creativity. You gotta see it to believe it. And you gotta see it to feel it. He really is hopeful that others will be inspired to sit down and push out something fresh to add to Barney's collection. And so, Matthew McConaughey, uh, we'll take a toilet seat from you. All right. This was already no ordinary art museum, and now it will be a lasting tribute to one of Texas's most quirky characters. Look, it's not the best museum in the world, but it's at least a solid number two. Well, maybe not so solid.